The Monogatari series is a very long series of novels written by Nisa Wisa. The novels are grouped into seasons and there are five of them in total, but only the first three have been officially translated and released in English, so that's what we'll be focusing on today. While the series debuted in Mephisto magazine in 2005, the first novel, Baka Monogatari Volume 1, was released in Japan on November 2, 2006. The first three seasons ran for 18 volumes, with the last one, Zoku Awari Monogatari, being released on September 18, 2014. On February 15, 2015, Vertical officially announced that they had acquired the license to Kizu Monogatari. While it's actually the third book in the series, it serves as a prequel to the original two parts of Baka Monogatari. The original release window was November 2015, but it didn't hit store shelves until December 15, 2015. While it had taken a while for the series to be officially licensed, Vertical didn't waste any time publishing them. The original 18 novels were expanded to 20 in the English translation, and all of them were released within 5 years. The last volume, Zoku Awari Monogatari, was released on the 5 year anniversary of the series' English release, on December 15, 2020. Because of the release schedule and the amount of work involved, Vertical had to use multiple translators, Co Ransom, James Balzer, and Daniel Joseph. Co Ransom worked on the series the most, translating 12 out of the 20 novels followed by Daniel Joseph, who translated six, and James Balzer, who translated two. I reached out to several people involved with the series' English release, and Ko Ransom was kind enough to answer some of my questions. Ko grew up speaking Japanese and decided to study it when he attended college. After graduating, he just kind of ended up working in translation, and has continued doing so ever since. He had worked with Vertical as an intern in 2009, so a few years later, he decided to reach out to them to see if they needed any more translators. After working with them for a while, he was eventually given the opportunity to translate the Monogatari series. Interestingly enough, this wasn't his first experience with the series. In fact, he used Bakemonogatari when he was studying Japanese. The copy of Bakemonogatari that I worked off of was the same copy that I read as an undergraduate studying Japanese, writing kanji readings next to everything I didn't know back then. It was a bit embarrassing to see all of it later on, but ultimately it was for the best. One of the things that I was curious about was if it was difficult having to jump in and out of translations. While Ko translated the first four English volumes, James Balser translated the next two, then Ko took two, then Daniel Joseph took two, but he didn't find it to be particularly challenging. I was also curious as to how he kept his writing style consistent over such a long period of time, having translated the first and last novels released. According to Ko, I think my dialogue translation style is primarily influenced by how an author writes. So for the most part, I think that Nisuisen's unique characters make it easy to tap back into the way that I wrote them in previous titles. Monogatari is an interesting series to translate because of all the jokes, references, and wordplay. I was wondering how Ko dealt with it. My first reaction to a tough one would normally be to stand up from my desk and take a walk as I punched air while being frustrated thinking about it for a while. There are some cases where I was able to come with what I thought was a clean translation for the wordplay, but in other cases a somewhat more direct explanation might have been necessary. Having to perform an activity for work can kind of sap the fun out of it, even if it's something that you might otherwise enjoy. Did translating novels reduce the amount of fun that he had while reading them? I don't feel like working on a title affects how much I enjoy it. I still like what I like and vice versa, but after over a decade, I do my best not to let that affect the quality of my work. That's all I have for you today. Special thanks again to Co Ransom, and thank you all for tuning in. Please like the video if you like the video, and subscribe for more anime-related content.